Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss the kinetics of mixed flow reactors. So mixed flow reactors is often named as CSTS, or continuous start tank reactors. So like my previous lectures on batch bio reactors, here we will also start from the same position. Suppose you have a component A within the reactor. So if you are going to do mass balance or mole balance for that component A, you have to start from this master equation. Accumulation of the component A is equal to input of A minus output of A plus generation of A minus consumption of A. On the right hand side, if you look at this figure, this is a figure of a mixed flow reactor. Here this is the input stream where Fa0 is the input feed flow rate of the component A. V0 is the volume input volumetric flow rate of the component A. Xa0 is the input mass fraction of component A which is in this case taken to be a 0 because we are considering a sterile feed. And Ca0 is the input concentration of A. And on the right hand side these are the output concentrations. Output concentration of A is Ca or CaF. Output mass fraction of A is Xa or XAF and this is the VF output volumetric fraction uh, of A and uh, minus RA this is the reaction output reaction of A, a minus means uh, A is consumed and FA is the output um, feed flow rate of A so if we write down all the terms with respect to the component A so uh, you already know here FA0 is equal to V0 into CA0 okay why because in my previous lectures i have told you suppose you have a volumetric flow rate small v of a component a so it is written as small v a suffix a is equal to the feed flow rate of that component divided by the concentration of that component okay so it can be written as f a by c a so if you just take the transposition it will be what f a is what VA into CA. So this is what they have written for the input component. FA0 is equal to V0 into CA0. So considering the input stream. So input stream of A is FA0. Suppose we have a feed flow rate of FA0. And output stream. In a case of output stream we have the final feed flow rate which is FA. Which is again written as FA0 into 1 minus of XA. How this is written? This I have uh, explained in my pre, uh, the first lecture on batch bioreactors. And the disappearance of A is written as minus RA into V. Minus signifies that disappearance of it. It is because with the reaction the component A is getting consumed. And into the total volume of the reactor. Why this is multiplied by total volume? Because the unit of RA reaction is in moles per liter per time okay moles per liter per time or per second say and you, if you multiply it by the volume which is in this case a liter you will get moles per second which you want because on the left hand side you are having moles per second you are doing mole balance right so you multiply it by the total volume now you have these three components you have the input expression of a you have the output expression of a and you have the disappearance of a so all this if you are going to put this in the master equation right if you put it in the master equation and if you cancel out the common terms the expression that you will get here is fa0 into xa is equal to minus of ra into v so this is the expression that you will get on the master equation where x is the the uh, x is the mass fraction of a r is the reaction rate with respect to a right now what into x is equal to minus of r a into v all right so uh, by transposition this can also be written as v y x a not is equal to delta x a by minus r a whole f where suppose we are not considering sterile feed suppose something is there in the feed as well so then it can be written as delta xa where delta xa is the difference between the mass fractions of a in the output and the input all right now tau which is the residence time 
is written as v into c a naught by f a naught okay so this how this is written this expression i have already discussed now we, from the previous uh, from the upper uh, expression in case of in place of v by f a naught we are substituting this expression okay so it becomes tau is equal to c a naught into x a f minus x a i by minus r a now for constant density systems we can write as mass fraction or x a is written as 1 minus c a by c a naught where c is the final concentration of a and c a naught is the initial concentration of a so if we put it in these expressions if we put the value of x a in these expressions and again suppose we consider the sterile feed here so v by f a naught is equal to x a by minus r a how we are writing this this is right this is written from this expression only first expression okay and in place of x a suppose we write this in place of x so how we are writing is this this thing is written from the first expression only okay so first expression so v by f a naught is equal to x a by minus r a in place of x a we are just writing it writing this 1 minus c a by c a naught so we get this expression and in case of tau residence time we get v by small v capital v means the volume of the reactor by small v is a volumetric flow rate is equal to c a naught into x a by minus r a and we put the value of x a which is 1 minus c a by c a naught so then we get this expression c a naught minus c a by minus r a this is only applicable for constant density systems that is when epsilon a is 0 alright so now if we come to the graphical analysis so if you remember we got this expression right final expression for uh, the sterile feed so this expression suppose we start with the residence time so the relationship between these two tau is equal to c a naught into x a by minus of r a so this can be written as tau by c a naught is equal to what is equal to x a by minus r a right or it can be written as tau so it can be written as tau by c a naught is equal to x a by minus of r a right so if you plot 1 by minus of 1 by r a on the x axis and x a on the sorry minus 1 by r a on the y axis and x a on the x axis the area under the curve should give you tau by c a naught ok so this is the kind of the graph that you should be getting if you plot minus 1 by r a on the y axis and x a on the x axis so area should be given as tau by c a naught now this tau by c a naught is actually what v by f a naught ok so suppose you are given a set of data points where you have x a and from you are given the rate expression from that you can find out minus 1 by r a and plot for each respective x a you can plot uh, and for each respective one my mi minus 1 by r a you can plot this graph and you have to calculate the area under this curve we should which should give you the tau by c a naught term now if you not if you know the input concentration of a you can find out the residence time this is how we do so on the right hand side this is another relation which has been plotted this is between tau and this expression ok these two so tau can be written as so tau is actually what c a naught minus c a by minus r a so if you plot minus 1 by r a on the y axis and c a that is the concentration of a on the x axis it should give you this kind of a curve and the area under this curve should give you the residence time ok the area under this curve should give you the residence time which is v into c a naught by f a naught now as you know that this is the c a naught this the curve the where this uh, this curve this point on the x axis this is the c a naught and this 
point on the x axis this should be ca why because the initial concentration of a should be much higher okay so that's why this should be ca not and after the reaction a is consumed so the final concentration should be much smaller another thing that you note here suppose you are given the concentration of a so data points with respect to the concentration of a and with time as you can see it is decreasing and you know the reaction rate expression then you can find out minus 1 by ra and plot this and you calculate the area to get the residence time okay so if you are given the with uh, data points with respect to the mass fraction of a that is xa you plot this curve and get the residence time and but if you are given plot data points with respect to the concentration of a you plot the right hand side curve and you get the residence time so these are the methods graphical methods but by which we you have to get the residence time we will solve some problems later on by which you can uh, easily find out how we can guess the residence time okay.